one sentence from Miss Macintosh, and it's a sentence describing her. She was like a strong headwind, strong in all her movements, even when the wind blurred the atmosphere with the demoni the demoniac whirlings of crystal sands, so that often the day seemed lighted only by the lights of the invisible stars, as in the nights when the stars were like pinheads lost in the pincushions of the clouds. Or this planet itself might be the invisible star, the minuscular particle, the star not visible to others. And she was vigorous and plain of courage, clear in her common sense, no matter if the sky was murky, the winds blowing most heavily where she walked, it would seem, and she liked to walk in the heavy winds, often in the eye of the wind, the teeth of the wind, never amazed by the wind's furies, just keeping her head well covered, yet wading through the waters, coming up to her knees, wading through the long whispers of the many-tongued surf or the salt pools left by the receding tides and still whirling, never protecting herself from the honest elements, the sudden sunlight breaking through the pearl-colored fog and the blowing surf suddenly splashing as if the wings of birds and the wind making the fire waters glint with reflected lights or protecting herself only so far as would be necessary for man had dwelt too far away from nature and these immediate things sunlight and surf and wind and the best tonic she knew was physical exercise that the natural blood might flow into one's cheek that one might breathe the heady and the stinging air that one might sleep without the necessity of a drug or an illusion between her and the world or even the guardian angels who had certainly never guarded her miss mackintosh my darling so you can see what we're dealing with here in terms of the, the prose uh yeah very short addendum to my re reading video for last week talk to you soon bye bye